a lot of people doing Euronymphing and doing that from the bank and uh, Walk and Wade. And I wanted to know, I talked to PJ Bach, who's with Bach Fly Fishing, if uh, Euronymphing was something that would be done from a drift boat. Uh, you know, how and why is there circumstances where that would work? Here's what he had to say. It's a little bit harder for the oarsmen to, to euro nymph, uh, to get their clients to euro nymph from a boat because um, there's a lot less on the water to read. So you, you can't quite, you can't, it, it, you can, but it's, it's not quite the same as um, fishing with an indicator. And especially when you're fishing from a boat, um, you know, the, the reason why when I'm bank fishing, I like to euro nymph over into indicator nymphing is because you get a longer drift um, you don't have to move as far you can move a little lot less and you're you're in the strike zone for a lot longer but when you're fishing from a drift boat and you have that indicator your drifts are already so long as it is that there's not really you know a better way to do it we're casting you know if we were gonna fish this run your your flies would be in the water before we get to the run mm -hmm. And we're gonna fish all the way through the run, so you're gonna you're gonna have your your flies in the zone through the whole run. Whereas when you're bank fishing, um, you're you can only go as far as your as as your line will let you. You know, so you can't you can't get quite as far. I can't fish this whole run just by standing here. I'd have to walk, mm -hmm. and every time I take a step, that's gonna move my flies a little bit. Um, now sometimes I do that. You know, I'll walk downstream and get a long drift through a run like this, like walking the dog. Um, I usually do it more with an indicator than, than a tight line, but you can definitely do it with a tight line presentation. Just by casting upstream, when it gets down to about your level, just walk with it. Great information from PJ Bach. He's with Bach Fly Fishing. He guides in Northern California on the Yuba River, on the Feather River, and the Lower Sacramento, and Hat Creek, uh, as well as some local small streams. He uh, does walk and wade as well as drift boat fishing, so he can do whichever format or technique that you want, depending on where you are and what the situation is. And you can get in touch with him. I'll put his website here in the post, um, and just but just let us know. If you need a guide anywhere in California, let us know and we'll put you in, in contact with uh, a good one in the area and on one of those rivers we can put you in touch with PJ Bach. And we'll see you next time here on The Backcast. <music>